Here we are at the range with Kinji-san 1967. What up? What are we shooting today, brother? All kinds of goodies. All kinds of goodies. Richard uh, broke out his assortment and... Uh, Which one are you most excited about shooting? I really did like your Sig Sauer. Yeah, that, that thing's was nice, the, isn't the, it? The first time that I shot it, yeah. well, pretty much I... Have you ever shot a 357 uh, Magnum before today? Not that I remember. How'd you like that? <laughs> now, have you ever shot the uh, uh, 357 Sig before? No. Okay, well that's that that Glock there's the 357 Sig, so that should be interesting. Okay, well let's uh, uh, let's go ahead and um, we'll uh, we'll get you some uh, shooting in there, and then you can give us your assessment of um, what you think about the uh, weapon. So here we go. You're live, Ed. Okay, I guess the one that we're going to start with first is your uh, your Glock with the 357 version. 357 SIG conversion. Okay, so we'll see. Never fired this one before. Definitely got a kick. Pull it to the right, Ed. Yeah, I have to definitely get used to that one. Yeah, I definitely got to get used to that one. I do like it, except for, I don't know, I don't like the, uh, the trigger on this one. You think you could maybe stay in one spot? No, I like to dance. <laughs> I like to dance. You know? you're, da you're a dancing fool. I'm a dancing fool. It's all right, so what do you think about the gun? I like it, but um, the trigger mechanism, the trigger mechanism in this one, it's not. That I I, I'm having issues with that Glock tr okay. trigger, to be honest with you. So that's the one thing I don't like about it. But what do you think about that round, that 357 SIG it's round? Got a, it's got a kick. It's, it's a snappy little round. More than what you would, you, you know, you'd think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, so what? Uh, what? You know what? Hold tight. Let me let me start another one for you. What do you got there, brother? Okay, this one is your pair of ordnance 1911 45 cal. Uh, this is what I got, uh, back in my early days of military. Uh, now we have the nine mil, so. Hopefully, I won't embarrass myself with this. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, There you go. So, all right. So, what's your assessment? Stand in one spot and tell me your assessment. My assessment of this one. Okay, sorry if I move around again. As far comparable to the military. What do you want? To... Yeah. <laughs> Vanna White. With there the you gloves. go. Okay. okay, Vanna, tell us all about it. No, as far as uh, comparable to the military, definitely this one's got a better trigger. Yeah. On it. Now you were shooting the Colt 1911s in yeah. uh, the Army, right? Yeah. Which, I think uh, that was back in uh, 80. Yeah. 1986 I went in, so 86 to, what, 88? Yeah. Is when I was messing around with that in Germany. Yeah. So, let me ask you a question. Now, when you were there, when they converted from the, the 1911 to the, to the M9, 9mm, Brettas, what what was your attitude about that? It took getting used to it. It's, it's how all military guys are. 
Uh, we went from the the uh, M1 16, and we got the M2s, and then the M3s, and we got the A the A4s. Nobody likes change. Yeah. So when you go to the range, you fire for the first time, you you bolo. Mm -hmm. Everybody's blaming it on the weapon. They don't want to admit that it's you know just the shooter itself. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's just like any weapon. After you play with it for a while, eventually it'll grow on you. Do you miss the 45 though? It's, I do. I thought I was a better shot with the 45. But then again, I didn't shoot the 45 a whole lot while I was there. Mm -hmm. You know, the officers got to carry it. I'm not an officer. I was just a regular grunt. No, I, you're I, not. I you're a senior NCO. Yeah. What's but, your rank now? E7. E7? What's up with that? 20 some years you can't get over E7? Uh, I turned it down. Don't yeah, I turned it down. <laughs> you're shirking responsibilities, what you're doing. Oh, I like to get out there with the guys. I like to still work with the guys. There you go. <laughs> Alright, well, let's grab another one. Alright, what are you shooting, brother? Okay, now we got your Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum. Uh, only the second time I fired this. Yeah, now that's the 686 stainless with a six inch barrel, uh, red ramp uh, front sight, and a full rear uh, white outline sights. So, <laughs> I know. Well, I'm just letting people know what you got. Okay. Go, go ahead and send a couple. I just like it because it's fun. It is fun, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see how I can do. All right, Ed, so what do you think of the Smith & Wesson 686? It's fun. It's a fun gun, isn't it? You shoot that at night, you can see flames firing out the front of it. <laughs> Those uh, casings are a little tough to get out, though, I have to admit. But do that over the table anyway. Where you can pull them out like that. Very nice. Very nice. So, what do you think about a revolver? Because th were you saying you've, you've never really had experience shooting revolvers before? Yeah, never. What do you think about them as a gun? Because I find either you love revolvers or you, or you hate revolvers. Yeah. With the zombie apocalypse coming, uh, any weapon would be a nice weapon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you see yourself becoming a revolver guy? I would like to have one. Yeah. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't no dance for it. I dance for it. All right. Well, let's go on to another one. All right, brother. What are we shooting now? Yeah, this is your 27. Black 27? Yep. 40 cal? Awesome. So what do you think about that? I like well, it. Uh, the only thing is, I don't know, it may be just the pistol grip on this one. It's kind of small. Yeah, small. I mean, you, you've got the extended magazine, but it's just... It's a small little gun. Yeah. Yeah. But but other the, than that, it, it looked like it did pretty good. You did, it's a good shooter. Yeah. It is. It's a good shooter. Even though that's, by the way, the gun that I I entered in uh, the contest. Uh, my my pistol match, the Colonel's International the one Pistol Shoot. The one that I sucked at. Yeah, it was so horrible. Absolutely horrible. But I that think I would have done uh, pretty good. Yeah. No, you would have done right. That's actually my carry gun. You know, it's it's a good gun. It's small. It packs a big punch. That 40 cal is no joke. Yeah. It's it, got a nice little light little flick kick to it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Awesome. So where are we shooting, brother? Okay, now we're back to your uh, six hour P229 with the 40 cal. Awesome. I do like this one. It's a nice gun, isn't it? 
I think you should uh, give this one to me just because you like me. <laughs> that gun's 1150 bucks. <laughs> you like me a I lot. don't like you that much. You like me a lot. <laughs> I think that target's toast. Do <laughs> so you think I'd survive the zombie apocalypse? I think you survived the zombie apocalypse. All right, so go ahead and give me a quick assessment of that. By far, I like this one the best. Yeah. Um, the feel of it's just really good. It's got a nice balanced feel. 40 cal, it's, it's got just the right amount of kick. Yeah, I love the 40. Yeah, I really do. I love the 40. That's awesome. So yeah, I'll take the six hour wrapped up. And you can put it underneath my I think you better ask your wife to, to let you take a loan out. Yeah. <laughs> She's not gonna let you spend a, a eleven hundred fifty bucks. By the way, you know that conversion kit that's converted to twenty two? That was three hundred fifty bucks. So yeah, on top of the eleven hundred fifty I paid for the guy. That me doing a lot of dishes. Oh, I'm saying, brother. But I will say this. That Sig Sauer is, is all of that. Now, I personally, I, I, the Sig's quickly becoming my favorite gun. But I got to be honest with you, I'm a revolver guy. And that Smith & Wesson uh, 686, 357 Magnum, man, I love that gun. Yeah, if I had to go probably order, um, probably your Sig first. Yeah. Um, I liked your Glock 27 minus... The fact, you know, of the, the short pistol grip, yeah. naturally, you, you know, your magazine does make up for it. But other yeah. than that, it was a good feel. And by the way, you can put, you can put, put the, uh, put the longer uh, uh, Glock mag in. No, the, yeah, there'll be the, be the Glock one. You can use the that 40 cal Glock mag in any, any, any of those. So yeah. that'll actually give you even more room. But it kind of defeats, somewhat defeats the purpose of the carry option. Although, even with the longer grip with that magazine being a helper in that it's still a shorter barrel you know so it is a little more concealable yeah. you know but i think you need to strap that 357 on and walk down the street open carry baby open carry <laughs> all right see you